Last but not least, we have our dessert. The first component in our dessert is flour biscuits. We'll need about two and a half cups of AP flour, four tablespoons of baking powder, just under a cup of butter, three tablespoons of sugar, and one cup of milk. The first step is to combine all the dry ingredients. Then we'll grate the frozen butter into the dry ingredients. It's okay if it's a bit chunky, but make sure the chunks are evenly distributed. Now add the milk to start making a dough. The dough should look like this. Get it to about three quarters of an inch thick and cut the biscuits to the size you want. I'm using a glass to make mine. Put the biscuits in an oil pan and bake them at 400 for about 25 minutes. We'll serve the biscuits with two toppings. First, we'll make an apple preserves. Dice up your Granny Smith apples. The tartness will be great in this dish. We'll mix most of the apples with some rosemary, sugar, and chili flakes. Reserve about one quarter of the apples to have some fresh apples to serve with the dessert. Let the apple mix simmer until all the apples are soft and turn into a chunky sauce. This preserves can be served hot, room temp, or chill, but I'm gonna serve it hot. The other topping for the biscuits is a Parmesan cream or mousse. Heat the canola oil in your pan. Then add the sugar and the white wine. Let that cook on medium heat until the wine has almost completely evaporated. You just want the wine flavor. Add heavy cream and the grated cheese to the pot and stir it until the cheese completely melts. Add just a bit of salt too. At the end, add some rosemary and let it steep in there for just a few minutes. Strain the mousse to be sure there are no clumps. Put this in the fridge to cool all the way down. Then you can whip it until it's stiff. It won't be as fluffy as whipped cream. It'll be richer and thicker. Now we can put everything together. You can serve the biscuits a bit warm with the warm preserves, chilled cream, and a few fresh dices of Granny Smith for good measure. Maybe these are components you've had before, but have you ever had them together? My friend called this a first-class dessert. We have two sweet wines to go with this dessert. Zuccardi Torrantes Tardio 2017 and Casa Madero Cosecha Tardia 2020. These are both Tardio, or late harvest wines, which means the grapes were picked after frozen, but only the water freezes. The sugar and the grape flesh doesn't freeze, so it's easier to get a more concentrated and sweeter juice. Torrantes is one of my favorite grapes. Most of the ones you'll find are from Argentina, especially Mendoza. That's where this one is from. It makes a very floral wine, which I love. This sweet version is fruity with a hint of honey and chamomile. On the other hand, we have the Casa Madero, which is mostly Simeon. This is the same grape that's used to make Sauternes, another sweet wine. So this grape is great as a dessert wine. This wine is from Coahuila State, along the border with Texas. It has tropical fruit flavors like passion fruit and pineapple, but you'll also get a bit of honey. 